In this video, we're going to continue learning an important equation about uh, limiting probabilities. First, I would like to give a remark that is uh, um, this pi i, which is a long run proportions, so pi i. I think I used pi j initially. Pi j is independent of the initial state chosen. In the textbook, um, the textbook gives a general uh, proof here. Uh, in our lecture videos, uh, we give a special proof based on the assumption that initial state is j, but it doesn't have to be that way. And remark number two is actually a preposition in the textbook, but it, it can be viewed as a remark of uh, this new definition we introduced about um, positive recurrent. Um, it says the following, so if i is positive recurrent and i communicates with j, then j is positive recurrent, i.e., which is to say a uh, positive Recurrent being positive recurrent is a class property. For the states within one class, um, if one state is positive recurrent, uh, then all the states are positive recurrent. Which brings us to the next remark that is. Uh, we, we've uh, uh, learned that an irreducible Markov chain with a finite state, all the states must be recurrent. And uh, this actually implies for an MC, um, that is uh, irreducible, which means it has and has finitely many states we know that all the states of this market chain are recurrent and now we're going to say that all the states are positive recurrent The reason is simple. Um, let's just give a one-line proof here by contradiction. Suppose we have one state. being null recurrent. And by positive recurrent being a class property, null recurrent is a class property as well. And we have this Markov chain being irreducible, it means we have only one class. And this implies all states are null recurrent and this implies pi j is zero for any j which is in our state space but apparently this is a contradiction this is because Contradiction by 
the summation of pi j, which is a limiting proportion um, of every state, must sum up to 1. So they cannot be all 0. So with these nice properties for a positive recurrent um, Markov chain with a finite state, uh, which also uh, irreducible, um, we can derive the following very nice equations. Before that, let's first try to acknowledge uh, this fact. So for an MC that is uh, irreducible and positive uh, recurrent, Assume we have a, a non-conditional probability distribution. So assume there exists a probability distribution for every time step. Then we have the following simple uh, relations, that is uh, the probability of xn being j is simply uh, pi j, is a proportion, is a total uh, proportion of, uh, of time steps this markup chain spends at uh, uh, state j. This is for any n time step. And you, you guys can view this as a uh, frequentist interpretation of uh, probability as well. All right. So now given this fact, and let's look back of what we derived initially um, in the lecture. It is the absolute probability of xn is j is equal to the sum of i from 0 to infinity, and we have this alpha i, which is the initial distribution, the multiply with the n step transition probability inspired by this equation, we consider next step, which is uh, x m plus 1 is j, is summation of i is 0 to infinity pi j. And this is one step transition probability right here. So this is one step. Multiply with the probability of x n equals i. And now what happens is, because we assume this irreducible uh, finite state and uh, positive recurrent uh, uh, Markov chain, um, we have the following. We let n goes to infinity. So we have a probability distribution for every term. If we let n go to infinity, the left side should be pi j. And the right side right here should be pi i. So this is uh, the sum from i equals 0 to infinity uh, times pi i. And this is uh, an important equation uh, we have right here. We also, we noted that uh, pi j, j from z zero to infinity is a probability. And this means uh, they sum up to one as well.
and this is our uh, theorem uh, 4.1 on textbook. In the rationale uh, just now, we use the rationale using a finite state markup chain, but uh, I want to say that theorem 4.1 in general applies to infinite uh, state markup chain. As long as this markup chain is irreducible and uh, uh, positive recurrent, then we have pi j is the sum of i in the state space. pi i multiply with the one step transition probability pi j and uh, for any uh, j that's in our state space and that is uh, also we have to require pi is a probability if you guys uh, uh, have observed when we have the state space being 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Um, we can rewrite this as a matrix equation. We let this pi vector being pi 0, pi 1, etc. Which means this equation is nothing but like uh, this row vector right here. Uh, multiply with the ith column. And what happens is uh, we can rewrite this as a matrix equation as pi equals pi multiply with uh, p. Which is to say uh, pi is a left eigenvector of p with eigenvalue being 1. Moreover, if apparently this linear system uh, may have no solution, then what happens is uh, this markup chain is either transient or uh, now recurrent. Now we can finally answer the question we posed in the very first lecture uh, for the ring versus not ring model. Uh, we have ring and we have not ring. Uh, from rain to rain, we have uh, alpha, and from rain to not rain, we have 1 minus alpha. Uh, from not rain to rain, we have uh, probability beta. And from rain to uh, not rain, we have probability 1 minus beta. Um, if we write down the one-step transition probability matrix, uh, the first entry is from rain to rain. Second entry is from rain to not rain. Uh, the second row, first entry is from uh, not rain to rain. And this one is 1 minus beta. By uh, the equation we just derived, pi equals pi 0, pi 1 to be the long run proportion, respectively, at state 1 and state 0, where we assume. Um, the ring is state 0 and not ring is state 1. We have the following equation that is uh, pi 0 pi 1 it's pi 0 pi 1 uh, multiply with uh, this matrix. If we write the linear equation explicitly we have this is pi 0 equals and this is a uh, uh, first row multiply with the first column, we have this is a pi 0 alpha plus pi 
one beta and similarly we have pi one equals um, pi zero multiply with one minus alpha plus pi one multiply with one beta lastly we have to have pi zero plus pi one uh, is one because of uh, they are probability all right and now from the three equation um, we can derive that pi zero and pi one so here uh, I'll just copy down uh, the textbook solution and you guys can verify it's correct Lastly, in this video, I want to add a remark um, of when this equation does not hold, we have a non-recurrent uh, markup chain. Uh, first, we learn that all finite state irreducible markup chain is positive uh, recurrent for non-recurrent. A famous example is the random walk we learned the last time. So for every single state, the long run proportion is going to be zero. Yet, uh, for everyone, the Markov chain will visit, uh, will visit um, this state infinitely many times.